All right, got the GoPro, got the tripod, got a jumper. I think we're all set. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. I just want to start off this video by saying thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. I just reached it a few nights ago and I'm absolutely over the moon. And to celebrate, I'm going to be having a bit of a giveaway, so stay tuned for that one in a later video. But anyway, in today's video, we're going to be heading out around Outer Harbour Way, looking for a few blob worms, which, as you guys probably know, are one of the best baits money can buy out there. So hopefully we get onto a few of those, and stay tuned. There's one. Oh, straight in. Oh, yeah, there's another one out there. Yep, yeah, just up there. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Look at him. In the water. Oh, whoop. Oh. Feed him back in. Oh, there's another one in amongst that weed. Boom. Just a bit of a quick update what I've got in the old net there. Yeah. Couple of nice ones, here's a nice one just there. We'll empty them into the bucket, I would say. Oh, he's a struggler. There he goes. Oh, there's one in amongst that weed, as I was saying. Beautiful. Oh, yep, there's a nice worm out there, yep. We'll come back for him. Oh, there's one down deeper as well. Oh, there's that one we said we'll come back for. All right, now they're normally lurking all this weed along here. We call it the line. <laughs> As they move out with the tide, out in the open ocean, we've got to find the line, exactly. And hopefully, the worm should come with it. This is a prime example, all this weed here. I'm sure there should be a worm in amongst... Oh yeah, there's one out there. Uh, nah, I'll leave him for another day. Where is he? There he is. Straight in. There's one just there. Beautiful. Oh, there's another one. Perfect. I sure did. Alrighty, so it's the next morning. I've just left those blood worms we gathered last night and a little bit of seawater just to keep them alive. And now I'll show you the process that we use to preserve our worms. Alrighty, so I've just gone and gathered all the ingredients you're gonna to need to preserve your worms. I've got two kilos of fine cooking salt here. I've used coarse cooking salt in the past and I haven't found it's had the exact same effect on it. Um, the fine cooking salt helps to retain that moisture and the color of the worm and also makes it a little bit more tougher, which is what I've found. I've also got your 200 value pack of these Hercules sandwich bags. They're perfect for um, uh, storing your worms, perfect size as well. And one of the main things you can't forget are these beautiful little worms we gathered last night. There's about 60, 65 in there. Didn't get as many as we hoped. However, what I've gone and done is try to get out as much seaweed as I can and I've left them in a little bit of water just to keep them alive, which is perfect for our preserving process. All right, let's get into it. Okay, now I've just gone to spread all these worms out um, on this piece of newspaper here. Now what I'm going to do with another piece of newspaper, just go over these worms and try and get rid of all that moisture as much as possible out. And getting rid of all the moisture out of these worms makes it a lot easier and actually um, makes them better to preserve as well. Okay, now I've just gone and got rid of as much moisture as possible out of these worms. Now what I'm going to do now is transfer them over to the deep freezer and I'm going to leave them in there for around 10 to 15 minutes. That's going to make it a lot easier for us to, um, when we go and sprinkle the salt all over them, um, it's going to stop them from hem hemorrhaging blood and it's also going to make them a lot easier to preserve.
All right, as you can see, I've just gone and got them out the freezer. So I've just gone and spreaded them out and I've got my so uh, sea salt here. So what I'm actually gonna do is grab a handful of this and just lightly sprinkle the worms. I'll right, just open these little bad boys up here. Right, there we are. Probably grab a couple of these. I'm gonna say maybe about five or 10. We'll pop them aside at the moment and get onto packaging our worms. Alright, so all up we ended up with around 80, 85 worms. I've packaged them into 20 in each pack, so that allows for an easy um, grab when you want to go for a quick fish. Um, more than enough for what we need, to be honest with you. And then I'll go chuck these in the freezer, I reckon. Well guys, I really do hope you enjoyed watching this week's episode of Tom Fishing Adventures. If you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and share with your friends for more content. Also, stay tuned within the next couple of days because I will be doing a giveaway, and that's when I'll announce what's going to be in the giveaway and how you can enter. So stay tuned for that one. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.